all witnessed the damage caused by natural disasters just this year after both Debbie and Helene have affected several families in our area. Handling your insurance claim after the storm passes can be tedious and stressful. So that's why we have the CEO of Home Buyers of Savannah, Patrick Hamlin, here with us with more on how you can file an insurance claim, regardless of the situation, but especially after a storm. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing this morning? Thank you. I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Such an important topic that we have to go over right now, right? Very the important. <clears throat> Excuse me, the do's and don'ts of filing an insurance claim after going through something like flooding from Debbie or, you know, just the damage that we've seen uh, with Helene, trees down, things like that. Um, what can you start with giving us some do's and don'ts when filing an insurance claim? Sure. So one of the important things is documentation, thorough documentation. Mm -hmm. And really it starts before the storm season even comes. So I would recommend you take video and pictures of your entire house so that when a storm hits, You've got those pre-storm photos and then of course after the storm you take photos and videos of the damage so that you can show that to the insurance company that hey this is what my roof looked like before and this is what it looked like after and it's very clear what damage was caused by that storm yeah that's awesome advice something that i likely would have never thought about good to have a before and after picture as well how do people go about preparing a claim <sighs> well be prepared because it can be a lot of work mm -hmm. um, but first of all if you've taken those pictures before right then after the damage happens you take the post pictures you put that together and then you're going to want to submit all that information to the insurance company mm -hmm. now every insurance company is probably going to have like their own portal certain way they want to do things so you're going to want to give them a call reach out figure out what their process is and then follow it and i always recommend that you be thorough and work with them because mm -hmm. if you give them more thorough information, then they can help you more thoroughly. Yeah, they have more to work with that way, exactly. right? So we put in the claim, what do we do after? Well, uh, let me also back up too. So if you have, um, let's say you've got like a hole in your roof and you don't have time to wait for your claim to go through this whole cycle and get processed, mm -hmm. you can still complete the temporary repairs to stop further damage from happening. Mm -hmm. So you should do that. But once that claim is in, you're going to have to wait until it's processed. The insurance company is probably going to send an adjuster out. They're going to survey the damage, confirm with what you submitted, and then they're going to recommend a contractor to complete that work. Is it any different when there's a named storm like Colleen or like Debbie? Well, there's definitely a lot more people submitting claims at one time. Mm -hmm. So during, during this critical period, I would recommend that you get your stuff submitted first, so it's first in line. Yeah. And what you don't want to do is wait until storm season to sign up for insurance because a lot of insurance companies are going to um, basically put a pause or a moratorium on accepting new policies during that time because they're waiting to see what is the extent of the damage. When we're looking at the time frame for all of this, from filing a claim to seeing the repairs done, having the money to uh, carry out said repairs, how long is that process? If you're on top of it, it can actually go pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, at one of my townhomes, we had a pipe burst up on the second story. It caused massive damage all mm -hmm. the way down. Now what I did immediately was I called a water mitigation company. They came out and they got to work. And I called USAA, my provider. I let them know what was going on. So we started to mitigate the problem immediately, and then it took a couple weeks to find a contractor to come in and actually repair all the damage. Mm -hmm. But it was about two months when everything was actually fully wrapped up, and it looked better than it did before. Yeah, two months is actually sounds quicker than I, I would have imagined. Right. So thank you so much for those tips, and especially that example as well. I think these are awesome for the viewers. Anything else you feel like everyone needs to know? Um, I would just say know your insurance policy. I know it's not a fun thing to read, mm -hmm. but you should take a look at it and look at it before the hurricane season from June to November so that when it hits, you're prepared and you know what to expect from your insurance company. Yeah. Well, awesome advice for such a vital time right now for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Well, coming up, if you have weekend plans, I know you'll want to know just what to expect.